Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Blanco the Slime, and it's time for what to buy and what to avoid in GTA Online this week. Of course, we have a really good update week this week we had a few really bad ones the last two or three weeks or so but this one's actually pretty good we got some pretty good discounts and we finally have double money and discounts on a business and that of course is going to be with the bunker that's going to be double money for your sale missions and double money for the excess gun parts contract which you use this truck right here so that's going to be a hundred thousand dollars every 48 minutes instead of fifty thousand which is absolutely bonkers and then like i said the sale missions will also be double money which means with a full bunker you could be potentially bringing in three million dollars off one sale mission which is crazy and then also the bunker and all its upgrades are 30 percent off but we will get into that later for now i need you guys to hit that like and subscribe button of course join the slime squad we make consistent gta content here on the channel so why would you not want to subscribe and let's get going ladies and gentlemen so first up we have the bunker properties which as i mentioned are 30 percent off these are going to be all the locations of the bunkers as you can see they all start kind of like in the middle of the map and then go more you know northwards of the map there are none actually in los santos itself you're gonna have to get one that's a little bit out of the city now i know a lot of people do like the chumash bunker and it has this little side highway here that leads directly into the city but personally i actually think it's a little bit out the way and I would actually much prefer the farmhouse bunker. I know that's a big debate between Chumash and farmhouse. I personally own the farmhouse bunker and I think it's much better to get into Los Santos because of course you get a bonus for selling to Los Santos with the bunker. So you're gonna wanna do that. And I just personally think the farmhouse bunker is slightly better, but you can't go wrong with either or between Chumash or the farmhouse bunker. But as you can see, all the upgrades are 30% off. The shooting range, the gun locker and transportation are all not necessary. I think Think the only ones you really should be getting are the personal quarters it's blanked out for me because i currently own it but i think the personal quarters are the only ones that are necessary because then you can actually use the bunker as a spawn location to fast travel but of course the shooting range gun locker and the transportation vehicle are not necessary these are all just you know like extras if you have just a ton of money so of course, if you don't own a bunker property, now is the best time to go ahead and grab one while they are on a discount and a good discount at that. Now, let's move on to luxury autos. Pretty decent cars this week. We have the Vapid Dominator GT and then the Karen Vivanite. We had like the same two cars for like three weeks in a row. So I guess it's good to see that they changed it up, but nothing really special here. Neither of these cars are on sale. And of course, we have seen these about four weeks ago in the luxury autos. They are relatively new, but again, Again, not on sale so nothing too special moving in now to simians there's only one really good car here but I, here but i will go through all of them anyway we have the dinka thrust we have the pegasi torero and the one in the corner here is the Ocelot XA21. That is an absolute monster vehicle. The Torero is okay too, being that it only costs about 600000 It is on sale. So I guess you could pick that one up too, but it's not really too special. But this one here, it's actually not on sale. This is the Ocelot XA21. It is a removed vehicle. It's one of my favorite cars. One of the best performing cars in the game. Acceleration, top speed, and handling wise. Really good customization. It does cost a pretty penny at just over like $2 million. I think it's 2.3 but like I said, it is a removed vehicle and a very, very good vehicle at that. So if you don't have one, I would definitely suggest picking that up this week. Next, we have the, honestly, I don't even know how to pronounce that car. So I'm not going to bother and embarrass myself. But we also have the Declassy Tulip. Both of them are on sale, I think 30% off, but they're not really worth it. I'd say the only cars worth picking up as Simeons are going to be the Ocelot XA21. And then, of course, if you want the classic Pegasi Torero at 30% off, you can do that as well the prize ride this week is not that great i don't think i'm going to be going for it you do need to place top three for three days in a row to receive this car but personally i think it's a little ugly and not really my style so i'm not really going to spend too much time trying to win that next up for your hsw test track vehicle we have the karen s95 the karen s95 i just called it a karen <laughs> That was crazy. I just called it a Karen. The Karen S95 is your HSW vehicle. It is not on sale. But of course, if you want to pick one up, feel free to do so. 
Now, these three cars are going to be on sale. This is, of course, the Grotti Cheetah Classic at 30% off. Then we also have the Bravado Greenwood at 30% off. And then all the way to the right, we have the Fister Comet S2 also at 30% off. Now, out of these three vehicles, I would suggest picking up the Fister Comet S2 and also the Grotti Cheetah Classic. They're not that expensive, especially with the, you know, the sale that's going on. You could pick up the Comet for about a million dollars and the Grotti Cheetah Classic is going to be about 600000 for the price both vehicles are very very good value for the price and you're definitely getting good bang for your buck so out of these three cars definitely go for that fister comet s2 and also that grotty cheetah classic i don't think you can go wrong with either one or both now moving on to this week's podium vehicle we have the ennis it's a convertible ennis vehicle it looks absolutely amazing the headlights look crazy the tail lights look crazy it's a drop top i mean what more can you ask for man this thing is an absolute beauty it has the little eagle on the front sticking out the roof it actually pops out this thing is luxury man this thing looks really nice i would definitely suggest heading over to the casino each day this week because of course you can only spin the wheel once every 24 hours and definitely try to win this vehicle i know i am definitely going to be heading to the casino each and every day trying to win this car it looks absolutely sick now, moving on for your salvage yard vehicle robberies, we do have the Albany Brigham, the Corinne Hot Ring Evron, and the Lampadati Tigon. I would have liked to keep the Tigon, of course, but none of these vehicles are claimable. Just like last week, no claimable vehicles. It sucks, man. I really thought Rockstar was going to give us one, one vehicle a week that is claimable, but that does not seem to be the case. It seems like that's going to be once in a blue moon. So, unfortunately, the salvage yard is not looking too bright and might actually be one of the worst, not the worst businesses in the game, but but definitely like mid man it's not that good anyway let's get into your time trials this week of course the hsw time trial is going to be located right here you do get two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for completing this so i would definitely suggest giving it a go even if it takes three or four tries it's fine two hundred fifty thousand dollars for like a two minute time trial is absolutely awesome that's a quarter million dollars and then of course your regular time trial is going to be located right here this will reward you with a hundred thousand dollars for also like a two minute you know time trial so basically you can make three hundred fifty thousand between the both of these so i always suggest doing these every single week because they're very easy and simple and you could make three hundred fifty thousand every week just by doing these two now another way to make money this week of course is going to be to complete two excess gun part contracts for your bunker that's going to be every 48 minutes you're allowed to take that truck that's parked in the bunker and you just deliver the gun parts really quick to an ammunition store location it usually takes anywhere from two to five minutes and normally it pays you fifty thousand but it it is double money of course as i mentioned in the beginning of the video so it will not pay you a hundred thousand and when you complete two of those you will get a hundred thousand dollars for your weekly challenge so definitely get those done honestly i would do them every 48 minutes you're getting a hundred thousand dollars every 48 minutes plus the weekly challenge absolutely great great deal man so this week has actually been pretty solid thankfully we had a couple stinkers the last few weeks but anyway that pretty much does wrap us up for this week's installment of what to buy and what to avoid i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did a like and sub of course is always appreciated join the slime squad i do make consistent gta content i am currently in the process of moving so the schedule has been slowed down a bit but we're still rolling we're still making content every other day or so and yeah man hit that like and subscribe it takes one second of your time and really helps the channel grow until the next one peace out boys